Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are loading into a Sunday on FIFA 22, and Sundays always mean one thing. Icon upgrade SBCs, and I think today we're going to see that Icon player pick get re-released. The question is going to be, are they going to re-release it at the same price, or are they going to make it a little bit cheaper? So we'll talk about that potential of that SBC coming out today, how it would impact the SBC fodder on this market that is still so very low, and I think still very investable, and also we have to take a look at the current state of the market once again, because we thought prices were low yesterday, right? Yeah. What if I told you that I bought Ben Yedder yesterday at 1.45 million coins and sold him uh, around 1.5, above 1.5, and today Ben Yedder is under 1.1 mil. These prices, the market is dying so much. It is crazy. And what doesn't help, those prices staying up on the market, is EA dropping incredible SBC content like they did yesterday with Mr. Insigne. They did the juice. They made this card so cheap. Incredible dynamic image. The five-star skill move uh, boost on this card. That Literally, everybody's running this card right now if they can fit him in their team because it's mental. So I want to take a look at everything going on in the game right now. It's an exciting time. EA is delivering content. And I think today is going to be another pretty hype day on the game. So if you're excited for an icon player pick, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe. If you are new, that's, let's start the video by talking about that very SBC. The moments player pick that we finally had last week, we're expecting it to be re-released today because Sundays are like always the day that they release the icon or the, the upgrades, whether it's a you know, from earlier in the year, Sundays have been the day where they release upgrade packs for icons. And you can see this one, of course, expires in 14 hours. And for like the past month, every Sunday, we've had another icon upgrade SBC. So since I can't click into that SBC, since I've completed it, what we would assume is the, the for like the last couple months as well, they did the icon moments upgrade. They released the SBC once, then they released it again. Same thing with like the 92 plus and the 93 plus. So I'm not expecting anything crazy today. Realistically, the, the thing you can expect the most is for them to literally just re-release the Icon Moments player pick today, probably with the same requirements. It's about 670k, even though it's downvoted on Footbin, as you see here, 32% upvote, 68% downvote. I think that with all of the packs that have been opened, all of the 84 times 25 packs that people have saved either, either from Tot Swap 2 or all of those Icon Swap packs that have been opened as well, in over the past day or so, two days, with Ultimate Tots being out in the game, I think that so many people are going to be able to do an Icon Moments player pick today. That's why I think it's going to impact the market a decent amount. I think you might see some prices on the market dip a bit um, in general as people go out and do this SBC even more. You'll see those prices dip uh, potentially. And also, I think fodder is going to go up because if you think about it, you might be like, Nate, if this SBC is coming back out again today, and people have a lot of fodder in their club, why would SBC fodder go up for this if people have a lot of fodder already? Well, I doubt that people actually have an 88, 88, 89, and 89 rated squad worth of fodder already in their club. A lot of people don't have this much without having a lot of duplicates. You know, you might have two or three squads worth, maybe two squads worth in your club, just able to do easy then you have to go out and buy a couple of players to do the rest. But since people all have a lot of the fodder in their club already, there's going to be more people that will just, you know, be able to do this for cheaper since they have it in the club. And that's going to get more people to do this SBC, which I think will make fodder spike just like it's done the last two or three weeks when we've gotten an icon moments upgrade pack. I think we'll see a nice spike on the higher tier of fodder today. So that's what I would really watch out for. Um, you know, they could release this SPC a little bit cheaper. Um, maybe instead of like the 88, 88, 89, 89, they could do like 87, 87, 88, 88, and make it like 150k cheaper. That would be very appreciated if EA Sports would want to do that. But still, even in that case, I think you would see your fodder cards go up in price. We talked about it in last night's video as they were really great investments. I'm sitting here today telling you that it's the exact same scenario. These cards really aren't up that much. A couple of them are up a little bit, but again, 85s are still 4k, 84s are still under 2,000 coins, 86s are still in the low sevens. I think these prices are great. I think that 87s, 88s, 89s, depending on the rating of that moment's player pick today, you'll probably see your 88s to 91s go up the most. 
uh, and have the biggest jump because those will be the cards that people will be going and buying to complete those higher rated SBCs. And here's my play with honestly the way we've seen it the past couple of weeks. We had said, hey, don't sell your fodder cards on Sunday when they spike. They'll go a little higher later on in the week. But what's actually been the best play is to sell these cards like right away after the SBC comes out, give it an hour, give it two hours and sell in that initial spike on the day of the SBC. In the past couple weeks, that's been the best time to do so. So that's probably what I'm going to say for today as well. Um, I, I honestly, when I think about the rest of this week, um, I would rather take the cash on an investment. Like if you're going to buy some of these higher rates, which they are up a little bit, right? Harry Kane last weekend was 25,000 coins or 23, 24K, and now he's 27. So there is some anticipation already of a player pick coming. And I think that these prices are maybe up a little bit too, just because uh, we have a player pick that is out in the game right now. And uh, some people that haven't completed it yet are still going out and doing it. So that's why, you know, I still think you'll see fodder go up today, but that's why I would take the cash on a quick flip if you have bought fodder this weekend and if it's the higher tier or even if they release it a bit cheaper and like 86s and 87s explode in price i would even think about taking the cash today on sunday a couple hours after the sbc comes out when there is the most hype and the biggest spike in that fodder as people go and do the moments player pick when it is re-released today so if the moments player pick does not re uh, release today, then we'll be like, okay, EA Sports, what are you doing? Um, and, and that would be a huge bummer. So we're kind of counting on that to happen. But I feel like it's pretty safe to do that because literally every Sunday for the past month and a half, we have been getting some sort of icon upgrade SBC. So that's kind of my thoughts. Uh, if you're like Nate, I still think there's some invest in investment opportunities on the lower tier of fodder. I think you're absolutely correct as well. Uh, 84s, 85s, you know, we're going to have some sort of TOTS upgrade packs this week. There's two different packs that are in the code that could be dropping as soon as tomorrow on Monday. So I even think that some of the lower tier cards have potential to rise up. And if you want to do a club stock or an investment on those, be my guest uh, because they're just ridiculously cheap right now as the way uh, that they are in the game anyway. So that's the biggest piece of Sunday content coming today in the game is that moments player pick for the uh, probably the biggest piece of content today. Now, what other stuff are we going to see today on Sunday? Let's talk about market and talk about content today. We should be having the next set and actually the last set of team of the season or as these are actually going to be called team of the group stage cards and packs. The biggest one that's in here is this Julian Alvarez, the Manchester City man, uh, River Plate striker though. He is uh, leaked to be in the team of the group stage and these are not confirmed stats, but I think he's going to have a really hype card today. People are going to be very excited about him. Just think about the other secondary league tots that have had strikers that have been very exciting, right? Nunez, Talisca, guys like that have been very popular day one, very, very rare. These cards are going to be decently rare if they're really hyped. So specifically Alvarez, then a lot of the rest of them are probably going to become really cheap and become fodder uh, if we're being honest. That's how kind of how it happens with the Sunday releases for the lower leagues. Um, but this Alvarez card will probably be very good and be the most hyped card today. So as long as they juice up some of the stats from this team, that should be pretty cool. Now, also for content today, we still have some end of an errors that have been leaked that we could see today. Mark Noble is one of those and so is Schmelzer. So there's still two end of an era cards that we have leaked right now that we have not seen dropped in the game. If they were going to continue with the end of an era push, uh, then we would, I would, I would imagine we would see either of these two uh, one of them today in the game since they're both both leaked to be SBCs. We will see what ends up happening. So that's kind of my content I think we'll expect uh, for today. Of course, probably some lightning rounds, probably some pack supply. And I do think that we have to talk about, I mean, we can't go without talking about the insane price drops that are just currently happening on this market because I think they're going to, you know, they're going to continue into today as well. I mean, what is going on? Like this market is in the mud. You, you look at these prices, and you're like, man, imagine having Rafael Leao in your team, um, you know, last week. From week to week, this Rafael Leao last week was like on Sunday. I know he was still brand new in packs. He was like 3 million coins. Right now, Rafael Leao is 1.27. He has dropped almost like 1.5 or more in value over a week's time. And even in the past two days, he's down a million coins. It is ridiculous to see how much this guy has dropped. Now, of course, his price is immediately 
affected or was immediately affected by the Insigne card. And I think a lot of the left wings like Hyunmin Sun as well, right? I traded with this guy on Friday, sold him at 550. And I believe he's like under 400K at the moment or somewhere right around there. Yeah, 400,000 coins, 399. Like he has been directed in, directly impacted by the Insigne SBC, which is absolutely incredible for this card. You take a look at this item on Footbin. I think everybody is going out and doing this. Um, 200,000 coins for a 96 rated five-star skill, four-star weak foot, five-foot four player. Um, and he's not that hard to link, right? I mean, you've got Napoli links out there. Of course, like I talked about yesterday, I had some Tonalis and I sold them in the hype. You could have uh, bought Tonalis at the release of the Insignia yesterday. Uh, Tonali went from 300K all the way up to like 390 at his absolute peak. Um, and he's back down to 359. I think this card is going to continue to go higher because he is the number one choice for people to link Insigne in their squads uh, from what I have seen. But with the continued pack supply, with people changing up their teams, and just with, again, that supply and the market being so devalued by how far these Ultimate Tots cards are dropping, look at Benzema, 1.6 million coins. There is so much panic so many price drops on this game. It is unbelievable. The market is literally just dying, right? Salah is 800K and Kunku is 500,000 coins. We looked at the Ben Yedder, who is down 500K since yesterday, right? Yesterday, he's down 500K since then. It's just wild to look through the entire market right now and look at these prices. Even the cards that are out of packs, like we've been talking about, Eder Militao is 469,000 coins uh, after being 600K yesterday and he is not in packs with ultimate team of the season this is a full-on market correction is what it is right the ultimate tots cards are dropping so much they're dropping great sbcs right now that people are putting into their teams so people are selling what they have uh, and and these cards are getting so cheap so also people who are using a militao that was you know six hundred thousand coins uh, and, you know, maybe let's say they wanted to use like a Teo Hernandez, but they couldn't and put him into their team and change their team around because Teo Hernandez was 1.1 mil. Well, now they can go sell their real Tao and, and use uh, a guy like Teo because he's dropped 400K, right? It's just these cards dropping so much has shifted the game around and it's caused a whole correction on the entire card market in the game. It is crazy. Now, I want to say this. Some of these prices that are dropping too... There's some panic selling that's involved with this as well. And I think that we are going to get to a very low point. And I think you're going to see, even though these cards will still be in packs, I think you're going to see a low point on some of these TOTS cards really soon. Even the ultimate TOTS cards that are in packs, your really rare ones. I'm talking guys like Benzema. I'm talking guys even like Rafael Leao, even though, even though we have the crazy Insigne that has been dropped um, you know, maybe a guy like Cancelo, a Salah, or De Bruyne, the Jude Bellingham, the Vinny Jr. that is 3.7 million coins, the Ben Yedder that is a million coins flat for this card that was 2 million coins last week. Like, like what? You know, it's crazy with how much these cards have dropped. I think that today, sometime today on Sunday is going to be your low point because you have a great SBC coming out for the Icon Moments player pick. That's going to make some people sell to go and do that player pick, gamble SBC. And then also you're ending the time. I know that Weekend League is still open until Tuesday, but most people try to get their games done still on you know Saturdays and Sundays. And you're just seeing so many low prices on this game. I think that you have the green light for me if you want to buy any of these cards for your team. That's for a team buy and maybe some investments if you want to try to flip a few of them. I would just say that it's got to be a really rare card if you expect to make any coins on it because these players have not only been supplied already one week when they were first in packs for their specific League of Tots, right? Like Nkunku was in packs for Bundesliga Tots and now he's in packs again for Ultimate Team of the Season where people are arguably opening more packs. So they have two weeks of supply which would hurt their potential rise and... Uh, we, we could have a new promo coming next week, guys. We really could be like they have done in years past. Last year, they went straight from ultimate team of the season into um, like the path to glory and the Euro stuff. Now, of course, we don't have Euros or a World Cup this summer. World Cup is next fall. So 
um, or this coming fall, you know, they still could go right into a promo like a summer heat or something like that. I don't know if they're going to take a week off or go straight into it. So I would say you are safe to buy some of these cards for like a buy for your team. If you want to get some of them in, you know, even if you want to buy somebody like Paqueta, right? Paqueta is a pretty rare card uh, compared to most of these. He's 740,000 coins. Like what? That's crazy, right? 740 for Paqueta is wild. But if you want to snag one of these for your team, sometime today when you see them continue to drop, maybe go in, snag the card, buy it up, and then be happy and use that card and enjoy that card for what it is. And knowing that you've, you're have you getting such a deal on these cards uh, for what they used to be and for what they were a couple weeks ago, I think this weekend is going to create a great opportunity to pick up on some of those cards um, as you're going to see probably the culmination of the supply and the panic selling today. Now, the reason I mentioned the whole next week with new promo and like Summer Heat maybe dropping is that if we see a loading screen for a promo like Summer Heat, I think that you would see these cards rise less uh, depending on the cards that we would get then. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. But for the, I would give you a green light for right now if you want to buy any of these cards for your team um, rising up later this week, especially for the more rare ones. I think that's a definitely good idea and a good decision. Now, even for your out of packs cards like Pedri's a mill, Joao Felix is 600K, man. 600,000 coins for a Joao Felix who was 830K on Friday and now he's 600. It's, it's wild. It is wild. And these guys have not gotten supplied at all, of course, um, because this is just pure panic selling and market correction on these cards right here. So if you like trading with these risky flips, this is like the best market ever for some of you guys that like doing this stuff. Like that Joao Felix is down, how many percent was it? He is down 13, 14%. You know, he could very easily bounce back up to like 660 or 670, depending on how rare he is, depending on how low he gets tonight. You're gonna have so many opportunities to trade with these cards if you like doing that stuff. But just in general, it is a fantastic time. Like even look at Mane. Mane was three mil and now he's 2.07. It's crazy, man. Everywhere you look on the market right now, it's just down horrendous and it's crazy to look at. Uh, community tots. Also, I think a little bit of what's going on is um, since they're doing the eFigs rewards, any card that is 91 plus is getting packed tradable from the 14 win plus packs. Even guys like Fred, Zaha, and Suarez are getting packed at the moment because they are in those rewards tradable and in red picks. I mean, Suarez is down 300K. Look at this. 1 million coins. He bounced to 1-1, and he is now 739,000 coins for Luis Suarez. And he's not even in packs, but you probably have some people on the game right now that are packing him from those rewards. And, and also with the market being so devalued in general, you're just seeing a whole bunch of panic selling. So definitely take a look and take a watch on some of these cards because they are really, really rare, and it creates tremendous opportunities to trade with them and to flip with them uh but that's just kind of a that's just kind of an understanding and hopefully it gives you a um you know a reasoning on why this market is down so much um and it, i think it comes down to most of the panic selling and the correction on the market but a little bit of this is tradable supply too like even militao people technically are able to pack him from weekly rewards even though i doubt it's it's happening very often i bet you're seeing a couple of those militals pop up here on the 59th that are fresh first owner um it's probably affecting some of the lower tier cards more but uh they are from the efix packs they are packable how about fred any fresh ones here not nah, really not interesting it's also late night so there's less people on the game unless people maybe get in their weekly rewards so yeah, man, that's that's kind of a rundown of what is going on right now in this game. It's just crazy times. That's the that's the bottom line. It's great if you're somebody who is looking to buy cards for your teams. It sucks if you've lost a lot of coins. Um, I, I got to get this Insigne done, and I got to get him in the team because, you know, Di Maria, I want to try out as well. But this Insigne card looks so fun. So many people are going to be using him. And uh, I do have Kula Bali, so I want to try him. I, I run a 3-5-2, kind of what we've been running with the team. I don't know if you guys have seen this recently or not, is we've been running this 3-5-2. Uh, I'm probably going to run Kula Daddy right here for Kuti and then try Insigne on the left. Um, and then we'll probably have to get some in, uh, Vieira in there for Conte or something or maybe swap Conte over to the right side. I don't know what we're going to do there. But, um, yeah, this... Uh, that Insigne looks too, too good. And I wanted to use a reason to try Koulibaly. And that Napoli link is very OP right there. So I'm going to have to try him out. But we are, we're 1-0 in the weekend league. We, we usually save our games until a little bit later on. But 
just that quality of that SBC is great. And hopefully if they release Schmelzer or Mark Noble today, uh, they, they give it a big juice, right? Because we were a bit you know, discouraged with how Mata and Fabregas looked last uh, on Friday. Oh, yesterday we had the ultimate cup as well. Oh, we have a team's objective. What's in this here? This is my first time logging on FIFA today, if you can't, if you can't notice. Uh, Raul or Fernando Torres. Um, oh, this is claiming my rewards. Man, how long did this go on for? Because I haven't looked in that team's tab for a long time. Anyways, uh, inside of this ultimate cup, I forgot to talk about this earlier. Uh, these are actually pretty sick rewards. Um, and I don't know, I'm, I'm going to take a look at this game mode in a second, but you're getting one of four 80 plus players that are from eFigs. There's a TOTS player pack in here. And then there's a another TOTS player pack. Wow. So 12 matches. Okay. I want to see this friendly mode. Um, let me see it. Ultimate cup, max chemistry, three attempts per day. It is not golden goal. Okay. It doesn't, I don't think it's golden goal. So man, that would have been nice if it was golden goal. Uh, this one's probably going to be like the league cups that we saw during the first couple weeks of tots, but still really good rewards in there. Uh, and it gives you something to grind for during the week this week with like only a couple matches per day. So that's, that's kind of nice. I like that from EA sports. That's a W. Uh, and we take those, right? We take that. It's solid content that we can grind throughout the, the game, the rest of the week this week. And we're one day closer to upgrade packs. Really curious to see what EA does on Monday for upgrade packs. But we'll talk more about that tomorrow on tomorrow's video. So again, today, watch out for that Icon Moments player pick getting re-released. Watch for a spike on fodder. And watch out for the Economy Bowl team of the group stage and probably some more crazy price movements on the game. I know some people yesterday were opening their one of five league unpacks. If you open any of those, I saw some on Twitter. Um, tweet those to me. I love seeing those reward packs. I'm I'm so behind on my tot swap tokens, man. I really am. I was trying to do the 84 times 25. We'll see if I get there. I've been literally not paying attention to those because the grind this time has been so much more difficult for the way I like to get the tokens via SBC. There's been way more an objective. So again, that's going to be the video for today. Happy Sunday. If you enjoyed it, hit a thumbs up, comment if you have questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.